Hi, I'm Bryce with Phytech Fuel Injection, and this week on Tech Tuesday, we're going to show you how to read a data log. There's a couple of ways to open up a data log. The first way is to use our PC-based software, which we can open up. There's a chart option up at the top that allows you to select data logs. I have a list of data logs here, but I'll select the first one and we'll open it. Now for most people, you may not have a power adder version or an ultimate LS. So the way to get the data logs is to use either Windows Excel or to use Google Spreadsheets. I have Windows Excel on this computer, so I'm gonna use this one, but Google Spreadsheets is very similar. So let's look at the same exact log from the PC-based software, but now in a list form. We'll open this nice and big. And you may notice that you got a status bar across the top that says what each field is, but when you scroll down, you lose it. A simple way to correct that is to go to your view tab. There's a freeze panes, and I could choose freeze top panes. So now when I scroll down, I could always see what each value is. Now I know that this data log has to do with an acceleration enrichment. So if you are experiencing something like you're stepping on the throttle and the engine's hesitating, this is how you would be able to identify it. I'll take my TPS column, I'll scroll down until I see the throttle position move, and then we have a throttle input here. I'll highlight that yellow. And what I wanna do is I wanna watch my air-fuel ratio. So air-fuel ratio is right here, and I'll highlight that one yellow as well. When the throttle is pressed, we want it to follow our target, which is this column. And you'll notice when the throttle is pressed, air-fuel ratio goes up compared to the target, which starts to drop a little bit. So I know right immediately that the engine's going lean. And then you'll notice down here, lower, when the throttle is stable at 11%, we have a rich air fuel ratio. So what the computer is doing here is on initial throttle input, it's going lean, and then the computer takes over, realizes the engine's lean, and adds fuel using the learn feature and overcorrects. So to correct something like this, you wanna focus on the Excel pump settings, specifically the fast Excel, and this will allow you to adjust that initial hit of fuel so when you hit the throttle you don't get the lean spike and then the computer overcorrecting and going rich. What will happen once you increase your Excel pump settings is that you won't do the initial lean and then you'll hit a steady air fuel ratio and the system will overcorrect and it will just follow in line later on kind of like down here where the calibration gets a lot closer and your air fuel ratios start to stabilize. So that's that data log and how you could tell when the engine's going lean based upon throttle. Another one that we can look at is fuel pressure. This is a really common one that we experience here. If fuel pressure is lost, the computer is still gonna try to overcome that loss of fuel pressure. So with something like this, what I like to look at, again, is for a lean condition, so we'll see right here, we have 15, 16 to one air fuel ratio. And then we can see that there is a throttle input, but the air fuel ratio goes lean versus the target. And if we look at the AFR trim percentage, the computer is trying to add up to 40% fuel and the engine's still running lean. If we scroll down further in here, we'll notice that it gets to a severity of where the trim percentage is up to 50%. So one of the things I should do again is freeze the pane, freeze top, so you guys could see the top row. But you could see up to 50% on the fuel trim. 
That is the computer trying to add 50% more fuel to bring the air fuel ratio back to the target, but it's lean, 20 to one. This would be a prime example of loss of fuel pressure when you're hitting the throttle. In this case, it was about 9% throttle. So our final log, which would be from the ignition system, an RPM noise fault. So we'll lock the paint again. But with something like this, we'll notice on the right side, there's three faults, fault one, fault two, fault three. And we'll get momentary faults in here. You'll notice about in this range, we're showing a 36. That would appear in your fault code section on the handheld as P0335 RPM noise. So since we know that we have a code here for RPM, I want to jump over to the RPM column and you'll notice your RPM between each cell, which is about a quarter of a second, you have 2400 RPM, 500 RPM, 580, back to 2500, down to 49. So we know that the tax signal going into the EFI unit is not clear and the RPM is fluctuating. The problem with this is the computer has to look at your TAC input reading to predict fueling. So since you have a low RPM, if the computer sees that, it's gonna fuel a lot less. And as a result, your air fuel ratios go lean compared to what the actual engine should be running. So this would be a sign of your RPM noise. And that's another thing you can look into these data logs is you can compare what a fault code says and see how the computer reacts based upon your RPM input, you'll have other secondary effects that will come about it. So this was really an RPM issue, but you may have just noticed a air fuel ratio issue when you're driving the car. It just stuttered and you didn't know what it was. So with the data log, when you open them, you could read through it and you could see what the computer's doing. Now that you know how to read a data log, this gives you the opportunity to go back to the handheld and tune the system to better fit your engine based upon what you had read from that log. If you're a little confused on some of the stuff in the log and you need a little assistance with what to adjust, definitely feel free to add that to an email, email it to techmail at phytechefi.com and write a little description of the issue that you're having. One of the techs here will be glad to write you an email back explaining exactly what to adjust to get your engine at top performance. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Tech Tuesday. If you have any questions on the video or suggestions for future topics, please comment them down below.